commercial wish mission bound for the moon carrying the scientific instruments for NASA scheduled to touch down on the moon's south pole later today. If successful, this would be the first U.S. lunar landing, as we mentioned, in more than 50 years. Vanessa Weish is the NASA Center Director at Johnson Space Center. She joins us now to talk more about this mission. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Okay, so we're talking about this payload services initiative in collaboration with the intuitive machines set to land later today. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so Intuitive Machines is a uh, commercial company and uh, we have several uh, commercial companies that have uh, agreements with NASA to deliver payloads for us uh, under the Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program. Uh, so Intuitive Machines is one of those companies. Uh, they're right here in Houston, Texas. And so later this afternoon, um, after the successful launch they had last week, uh, they have been on their way to the moon for several days now. Uh, we know that they're in lunar orbit. Uh, we have that confirmation. And now they're planning for their final uh, insertion uh, to the lunar surface later today. Oh, that's so exciting. You mentioned the commercial lunar payload services, CLPS, C-L-P-S for short. What are some of the goals of these, uh, these moon deliveries? Oh, absolutely. So these are going to be robotic missions uh, to the surface of the moon. Uh, through uh, the CLIPS program, NASA uh, has been embarking on using commercial companies to provide uh, this capability for us versus having the government own the program. Uh, and that allows the commercial companies to also sell uh, commercial uh, capability as well. So that then has uh, a trade-off and we can have a more low cost means for NASA to actually have our exploration be met. This will be the first time that we've done this. Um, We've had one mission uh, earlier this year uh, that was launched. Uh, they had a propulsion problem, so they were not successful, but uh, that's okay, we'll learn, and that company uh, will continue to press forward. Now Intuitive Machines is the second uh, to try. Uh, we have already identified multiple assignments for five companies, Intuitive Machines being one of those. Uh, we're calling it having more shots on goal. And so that will allow us to have more lower cost, but high reward means for us to be able to get the science goals met and so technology. How are these deliveries, I guess, the, the long-term goal of for future exploration of moon, the moon? Yeah, so to, today's mission uh, has uh, sensors and other instruments on board that are gonna help us to understand um, more about the dust when we land. We have a surface dust that comes up and how is that going to interact with the other landers, including our human landers. Uh, it also has instruments that will help us with the precision of the landings. Where we're going this time, different from Apollo, uh, today's uh, mission is going to the South Pole and it's going to be a more difficult landing. Uh, when we go with our Artemis missions with our humans, we also have our plans to go to the South Pole. So what we will learn today on this robotic mission, consider it to be the first of Artemis because we're going to be having both robotic and human missions as a part of that. With Artemis, we're going to be having sustainable presence on the lunar surface. So we will be going uh, to the moon. We plan to have um, habitats that will allow our astronauts to spin. Um, we will initially go and we'll have short stays like we did for Apollo, and then we will build up the capability to have up to two weeks, up to 30 day uh, excursions to the lunar surface. And this is just the beginning of allowing us to do that. NASA Center Director at Johnson Space Center, Vanessa Weish, thank you so much. We want to tell people at home, you can watch it through a link on our website, newson6.com. And this interview, watch it at school, watch it at home. It's going to be exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Very excited. Appreciate your time this morning.